Joe Lysett. Hello. You're a comedian. Tell us a joke. Um, no. Come and watch me live. Then I'll tell you. I don't actually do jokes. I see. So. Good response. Um, yeah, it's an all right response. It's a disappointing response. But there we go. Yeah. Uh, also, before we start the interview, you may notice that our producer, Amar, is holding the camera yeah. rather than using the tripod, which is broken. And obviously, if you were to say something funny, he might double over with laughter. Okay, well, and that might ruin the shot. So if you could try a, your best not of, to be funny. There's a lot of pressure on Amar right now. Look at him. Let's just look at him. Oh, it's hard. See, I did. Um, I had to sit for a still life painting last week, and it's really Were you hard. nude? No, I wasn't nude. They wish, but it is hard to stay still in one place. And Amar's sort of struggling there, isn't he? Look at his pathetic arms. He's, oh, there it is. There it is. Anyway, Joe anyway, Lysett, yes. you have done eight out of ten cats. Uh, eight out of ten cats I have had sex with, yes. You have done Radio 1? I have done Radio 1, yes. You've done BBC 1? I have done BBC 1. But what was the feeling like when your agent gave you a ring and said, we'd like you to be man-opening box on Celebrity Deal or No Deal? It wasn't my agent, actually. It was um, Sarah Millican, because it was for her celebrity. Um, and so she'd text me to say, do you want to do it? I was like, fucking hell, I want to do it, because I bloody love that show. And so it was a lovely feeling. I really very much enjoyed it. And I had a good day. It was a very nice day. Because you've done a lot of stand-up, but you've also done a lot of other comedy stuff on the radio and the telly. Is there anything in, speci- in particular you'd like to move on to in that field? Um, no, well, I'd like to get better at stand-up. That's my first love, so I'd like to do more of that and write more and do more Edinburgh shows and whatever. But I'd like to... I'm just sort of up for anything, really. If anyone's got any work, let me know. The world is watching. QI, perhaps? QI, would be lovely, a QI. Hello, QI. I'm sure you're watching. Hi, Stephen Fry. And, of course, in your stand-up stuff, you've done a lot of supporting people like Jack Whitehall, Ross Noble, etc. Yeah. But now you're kind of... You've m- been on my website, haven't you, clearly? <laughs> Once or twice. Uh, but now you're kind of a master of your own destiny. Are you feeling the pressure? Um, to a degree, but only to a degree. Like, it's not that pressured. It's not like I'm saving lives or anything. So the only pressure is to not look like a dick. So Is it different doing support to being the main man? I haven't been, I haven't done my own tour, so I don't know what it is like to be the main man. I suppose I know what it's like to be the main man in, in the sense that I've done my own show at Edinburgh. You're the main man here. I am the main man here. There's a lot of pressure. Gary Delaney's just been on. He's really funny and he's really good. Everyone's really good. Um, yeah, I suppose there's quite a lot of pressure there. Um, it is, it's, uh, it's easier being the main man, I imagine, uh, than it is supporting, particularly if you're supporting somebody who's famous and lots of people are there to see somebody who's famous. You're struggling now. Look at him struggling his arms. Um, uh, but yeah, it's fine, it's alright. They're all different experiences, they're all fun. You're back at a university. You started yeah. at a university, not life, obviously, but um, your comedy stuff seems to have emanated from yeah, there. Yeah, it did, yeah, it did. Is it important, do you feel, to come back and inspire the next generation of comedians? I don't know how inspiring I am. It's important to come back and uh, do a gig for money. Because you've kind of gone full circle now. I have gone full circle, yeah. You too could end up back at university in five years if you try stand-up. And what's happening next in your career after you've played the University of Warwick and everything sort of goes... I know, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to start my heroin addiction very soon. You heard it here first, Joe Lysett. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Bye-bye. You can put it down there.